What's up, Dons? Welcome back to the channel. I know y'all see what we got, bro. You done read the title. You probably didn't seen the little thumbnail. You feel me? Welcome to my playthrough of The Walking Dead. I have all the seasons. So, hey, just like we doing the Yakuza, we playing them all the way through. You feel me? I hope y'all going to enjoy this series, man. And this is your first time being here on my channel for one of my playthroughs. I do have light commentary or no commentary at all. So it might be some episodes where you might not hear me speaking. But that's fine, man. You can get immersed. You feel me? But uh, let's go ahead and get started on this series, man. I appreciate all y'all. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Hit the note bell. Like the song say. You feel me? Let's go ahead and get right to it, though. And I haven't seen anybody play this, so that's what makes it even better, bro. All my decisions and stuff will be, you know what I mean, off my own thinking and my own gameplay, you know? So, um, let's, let's, hey, let's go ahead and get to it, bro. I told you I ain't the best talker. Let's rock. We already on the wrong side of the bed. Uh, of the bed. How we in the back of the? <laughs> How we in the back of the squadron car already, bro? Uh, what type of life are we coming from, bro? Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Hmm, but you don't talk too much, do you? What you want me to say? I'm in the back, bro. I don't even know what happened, dude. The f Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you killed. Oh, we killed somebody already. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? Soft subject. Soft subject, bro. Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Hold on, these selections is fast, bro. Like the time, bro. Hold on. Why, hey, watch your mouth, bro. Watch your mouth, bro. Oh, shit. Any of that seem important to you? All of them. That box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for incoming to and before long, he starts kicking Man, the check back the, of the radio, seat, like, bro. Like a fussy baby on an airplane. Now, you heard brother, about he telling me a story? Check the radio, the champ. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. 
innocent. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do check the say road, check the road, check the road, check the road. Oh my god. Why my hands in why why my life in his hands, bro? Why is my life in his hands? Alright, let's see what type of game this is. <clears throat> Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Oh, this full immersion, bro. I need whole factual. to drag myself out that window. We, we're most deaf arming ourselves. Looks into you crazy. I don't care. Carry it. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. I bet. Slug right there. Y'all see that? Y'all. You know? The officer champ. Come on, come on, cook, 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 cook. What in the hell? Get away from me! Oh, I'm so glad I picked up that bullet, bro. Pick up the shotgun. Yes, sir. I'm a thinker. Oh my god. I need you to perform right now, bro. Oh, Someone, there's been a 
shoot Hey, yo, it. help me. Wait, hold on. Bro, she probably think I'm a zombie, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. No cap, we did just shoot a slug in the woods. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, get up. Yeah, I'ma like this. I hear this fool go speaking all extra loud. I wonder if anybody's home. leg the way it is. Anybody up there? Hello? Anybody in there? Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! I thought I saw a little girl in the forest. Are you up there? I'm not one of those things. No ladder. Is she not up there anyway, for real? This leg the way it is. I guess it's empty. Oh man, okay. Is there anybody here? I guess we're going in. Let's go. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Oh, Jesus. No, this fool did not just... <laughs> my bad, champ. I actually got blood on my pants now. That is, that is crazy. All right.
I mean, bro, just took a sip of like, bro, you don't even know like what like what was in the cup. Maybe give me the option to check what was in the cup. You just threw that junk back, bro. Maybe this Oh, it's the answering there. machine. Three new messages. Message one left at five forty three PM. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh, the little girl. Damn. Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Oh, okay. Where my name's Lee. All right, bet. <laughs> they took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh no. Hold on. Hold on. Bash. 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 Yep. 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 Man, this fool here. Lee, bro. That's my name, Lee. Looking like Bruce Lee right now. Let's go, bro. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Get off. Oh yeah, Clementine. Bro, help! Mash, 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 mash. Yep. Get off. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Hey. Yep. Yep. Dang. This guy gotta go. <laughs> Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so, too. Was that Sandra? You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now?
We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not yeah, we safe. Need to, yeah, we need to leave. We're we need to leave. We're to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to choose the way to the dark? Come back here with others. That oh, my God. Good. I think I messed up, y'all. I then. think I messed up. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. I found the bastard. Bro, come on. Ain't no way. No, I'm sure we're fine. Bro. Who Man, is that? Georgia State Patrol. Dude, he won't listen to oh, that. They're looking for me. We're friendly. There's a little girl here. Shit, you're not one of those things. Oh Neither my gosh, off. thank you, bro. Chill, oh, champ. Damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I just saw a girl inside that house. Nah, it wasn't him. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He Not my daughter, bro. Leg up too. I just I found, I just found, thank you. Oh, oh, her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh shit! It's Chad! Let's go! Get to my car! Go! Bro, do not waste no ammo on one zombie, bro. Yeah, right, right, right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yep. Good move. Good move. Okay, I think we made the right decision, bro. We left that night. We were the officer. And we're with Sean. You know what I'm saying? So we're not solo dolo. You know what I mean? And we in the automobile. We're looking good. Say hi to your Oh, dad. yeah. And we're at the safe house. Sorry, Sean. Or the safe farm. Sean, we're good. Dude. One of the best. Take care of you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. And quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta and, uh, Chet. He got killed. No. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. Damn, that's He's how you did him? Honey, 
Do you Glad know he could be help to somebody. Hey, chill yes. out, bro. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. I can't come inside. I mean, there's zombies outside. We, we're not allowed inside, bro. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's like that, because you got yeah, me sitting on the porch with a busted up knee. Hell. It's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? I didn't. Well, now's the time. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I, I fell, trying to get away from one of those things. And so, what type of danger has the girl seen? She's safe now. You're serious about taking care of her, then? What choice is there? House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like... Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. All right, man, got our first day down. <laughs> no, get us a nice little sleep. Oh, shit. Or a nice little nightmare. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going. Or we won't <laughs> hear the end of it. Little dude, I... Right. That's my boy, <laughs> Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Can't do you. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan then. I, hey, duck, I like I like Lee. being grouped and, uh, up. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, we in the zombie apocalypse. Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I wanna build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Here, mommy, a Drew. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. <laughs> you can visit. <laughs> he remind me of my son. Excited for no reason. That's the good way of life, though. Hold on, let's see what's up with that. That's some dialogue. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? 
I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. katya has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. See you. Damn. You know, Kenny, Kenny's a real parent, so you know what I'm saying? He got me really thinking about the future, like, you know, what if? And what if is big. You know? How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. 
Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and Sean, thinks inviting people in that. is a well, bigger we'll threat that I than to whatever's shoot out zombie. there. Y'all said it like it's a bad yours? thing. How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh, on foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? What's up with her checking me, bro? My parents are in Macon with my brother. What's going on? Well, I hope they're all right. You check Kenny like this? And now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. And another thing, you're gonna have to figure out how to answer a goddamn question when someone asks. Uh, hold on. Go! I'll get my oh. gun! Is that like them letting me know? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you need to be better type shit? Oh my god, yeah, I know. Sean! Look, then actually started the car up. Oh my gosh, bro. Nah. Dunker Sean? That. Getting kicked out of it. Get your boy, Kenny. Get your boy, Kenny. I got you. No shot. This tractor off of me. Oh my gosh. It's really loud. Lost Sean. That's crazy. Kenny literally left. Oh. Man, did I make the right decision? Who is still screaming? You gotta think about it, though. I if I didn't say Kenny's boy, bro, he wasn't going to have no ride up out of here, dude. I'm sorry. Sorry. Kenny's be mad. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. 
And you! You didn't even try to help! I thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Yeah, remember I saved your boy. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Man, come on, dog. We should have stayed at the farm with this bullshit. Here we go. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Come on, man. We'll make it. Oh, Fuck. my guys. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed. We're trapped. <laughs> <laughs> run. Oh, uh, let's go. Dump it off. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. And we let them. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. No, what is tell it? me we left with the name outside. I pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a Yo, fuck. Clementine, Clementine, hold on. We're in a war zone. Wait, hold on. Wait. Too much is going on right this now. Lady? That lady's Where's Kenny Jr.? Where's Clementine going? Hey, y'all need to relax. To be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Homie, my dead chill. Body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will Whoa. find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking but matter. But screaming. I should have snuffed him. You're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell I should have snuffed him. He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this upsetting him oh I'm upsetting him <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive dad we get it it's a big deal do you you're not fucking acting like it what if this was your daughter never would have happened she's not some snot-nosed toddler okay she's United States Air Force fuck you and her I'm gonna kill him cat just worry about duck Lee 
Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when here, she's bro. dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. <laughs> Give me the option to snuff him again. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh man. Man, Kenny, man, what the fuck was that, dude? Oh, shit. Jesus! Oh, shit. Oh, Why does he keep falling, bro? Oh, my God. Come on, come here. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh, my God. Mass, 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 mass. Yup. Who did that? Man. Who helped me, bro? You okay? Yeah, thank you. Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? <laughs> They're gonna get in! Shut up! That's the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger! That was stupid! Bro, that was- Oh, uh, damn, uh, bro. Dad. Shut up! Oh! Ah. Ah. Oh, ho, ho. Are you serious? Right, was he, was he bitten? bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's Shut up. Heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? That's what that was. Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully. You won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. You? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. There we go. You got it. Top and down Carly. charge. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in Thank with you, Doug Carly, when he needs it. My life. For now, Max. get some rest. Uh. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Oh, Lily didn't like that. Oh, Lily didn't like that. All right, y'all. That's going to be today's episode. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how we do. We'll be back next week for the next episode. Yeah, hey. Hey, there's a song say. We out this time. Tell them.